Since my review of the Goggles X, I've had a number of questions with regards to antennas and swapping the ports around. Further to this, after the release, Caddick showed us a patch antenna that you can mount on the front of these goggles that allow you to get improved signal and range, and they appear to be connecting to the bottom ports on these goggles. All of the Avatar HD goggles we have today, whether it be the original ones and the new Goggle X, all have the same RF setup in the sense of they transmit off one antenna port and they receive on three. Whereas the original goggles had the transmit port on the top side here, these goggles have that port over here. However, if we look at the image on the Caddx have showed us for that patch antenna, it appears to be attaching to the bottom ports and that would imply that that patch antenna is going to be for receive only. The question people have asked me is, can they swap around the connections for the RPSMAs on the main board to change it from the top transmitting to the bottom? And that's what we're going to investigate today. Okay, so the first thing we need to understand is why you may want to swap the antennas around. Now, just like the original Avatar goggles, these have one antenna that transmits and three that receive. Whereas on the original goggle, the layout was this one would transmit and this one, this one and this one would receive. On this goggle, things are actually a little bit different and it is now this antenna here that transmits and this one, this one, and this one receives. Now, a lot of people always have the question of, is there the ability to swap around the ports? Now, the situation on these goggles is a bit different to the others because the cables are actually pre-lengthed on these goggles, which affect where they go. You're not going to easily be able to swap, say, this one for this one or this one for this one, but what there may be potential of is swapping this one for this one, and that's what we're gonna look at next. So, the first thing we need to do is remove this top cover. Now, to do this, we're going to need to remove our face mask. This is simply held on with Velcro. We then have two screws, one here and one here, that we will need to remove, and then we can carefully unclip this top cover. These two screws have now been removed and what we're going to do is take a plastic pry tool and very carefully try to pop it in there and pop that cover up and what you will then find is that it will release on the back and then with some gentle persuasion, you don't want to be doing it too hard, you can then pop the tool in and release the top cover like that. Now, this cover won't come completely off. There is a Wi-Fi antenna that goes down to the main board from this. You will need to take this top plate off to unclip that. We're going to need to remove that top plate anyway to get to the antenna ports. So what we'll do is carefully lower that down there, and then we're going to remove this screw here, 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 and here to remove the top plate. Once the screws for that are undone, what we can then do, again, is very carefully lift up this top plate you will find that it is covered in thermal compound this is used for obviously keeping the main chips cool and then this gives us access to the ports inside the goggles we have our two antenna ports on this side and then our two antenna ports on this side with our wi-fi antenna coming over the top here to this port on the back now, as I've said, it's going to be difficult to swap around the port from this side to this side, but what we will look at is what we can do with swapping these two around here. You can see it is this port here, which is the one that transmits. This is the one with the power amplifier. You can see that is there. And then we have the other three ports with this one, this one, and this one, which are receive only. So what we're gonna do is carefully unclip these UFLs and see if we can swap them around. So the first thing we'll do is very carefully lift up this one here. This is our transmitting one as it comes from the factory. We can release that one and place it out the way. We're then going to release this one here, again, very carefully, trying not to damage it. And then if you see, if I give it a pull, you can see that the cable length is just too tight. It just will not pull over enough to get it on to that one there. So as you can see, 
there's just no amount of tugging on this cable is going to allow it to make it to that port. If I put too much tension on it, obviously we're going to damage it. So unfortunately, there is no way to swap this port for this port here. The next question people will have is, can you swap them over from this side? Now, if we take a look here on the one that is closest to it, again, being careful to lift the UFL off, giving it a tug. Again, the situation is exactly the same. There's just not enough length there to do it. Now, as for the shortest one, which actually goes to this port here, this one will pull out far enough to go to the transmitting port. But unfortunately, there isn't enough length on any of the others to be able to make it back. So in the end, the layout of the ports on these goggles is pretty much fixed. The only way you're going to be able to change that is if you actually dismantled the goggles and replaced the RPSMA ports with new ones with extra length of coax. So, as you've seen, there's no way to swap the ports around on these goggles as they come as standard. Now, mine are pre-release, but I don't expect this to change on the public release product. We don't know what the situation is with the Cadex patch antenna. Is there enough cable length to go to the top ports? They look like they go to the bottom ports as they stand at the moment, which means the patches are going to be receive only. But there are people who are going to want to put the patch with one transmit and one receive to get the best possible range. About the only other option I can see is that you could install your own custom UFL pigtail and have that go down inside and come out behind the patch antenna and wire it directly there. But again, that's not going to be as tidy as the original factory solution. We're going to have to wait and see what actually happens with regards to that patch antenna Cadex make. We are bound to see patch antennas come out from other manufacturers as well. So even if the Cadex one isn't going to allow us to have a transmit and receive, others are going to allow it. And I'll talk about them as they release in the future. Now, that's it from me on this one. If you're interested in getting yourself a set of these goggles, there will be a link to them in the description. If you found this video useful or if you have any questions, please do put them in the comment section below and I will try and answer them. Finally, I just want to say if you have found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to support the channel to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking out the link to my Patreon. It's only through support of my patrons I'm able to keep making content on this channel. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.